So we had to go with black tips. I mean, look at the car. Because they didn't come good enough from the factory. That's about three grand sitting there on the floor. Cold start time with our new Corsa MPP. Here we go. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today is the day that we're gonna add more loud to our Camaro ZL1 with help from Corsa. We're gonna be replacing Borla's version of the MPP exhaust. I know pretty crazy, right? Because the Borla attack system that's on it's already sounding good, but can we improve from that? I don't know. That's what we're gonna do in today's video. By the way, we're doing a head-to-head -head, and that's gonna be released, I think, after this one where we've done a bunch of flybys. Half of it's already filmed already. So guys, get ready. You have to subscribe, turn the notification bell on down below if you wanna hear what the Borla attack system versus the Corsa version of it sounds like head to head on this car. Because a lot of you guys out there are probably weighing the decision Corsa versus Borla. We're gonna try to make it about like as apples to apples as we can do it. Anyway, but that's coming up and I think the video after this one. But today's video is gonna be the installation of Corsa's new MPP Extreme catback. So we got Corsa Extreme MPP, which means that this is the valved exhaust, and we have black tips. We had to go with black tips. I mean, look at the car. The boiler right now has uh, the chrome tips on it, and that's like a no-go for me. By the way, we're also here at HPR in Henderson, Tennessee. Check them out. I'll link all of their information down below the speed performance shop that I'm at. These guys do awesome work, and uh, Ken and Chris here, uh, very good friends of mine, so they're going to help me out with the install. And uh, anyway, that's it. Let's get rock and rolling, guys. Let's turn some wrenches and add some power and sound to our 2018 Camaro Z01. Let's go. By the way, if you're interested in this system, I have exclusive discount codes for you. Link down below and across the screen here, Xander10 at CorsaPerformance.com. Go check them out and save a bunch of money on anything. It doesn't have to be a Camaro, guys. If it's a truck or whatever it is you have, maybe a Mustang, go check out the website. Use the Xander promo code and save you some money. But all right, here we go. You want to get in the air? Yep. All right, brother. Big things. Huh? Car. Yeah, this is the first time you've seen it. I was uh, really torn on the color, you know, if I didn't know if I would like it overall or not. I, I usually like the reds and, you know, the whites and yellows. Yeah. But this has completely grown on me. All right, here's the boreless system. We come down and we check out the, the mufflers here. So this is the chrome tip. They're dirty, we've been driving in rain. This is just road grime. So um, anyway, but this is the valve actuators here. You know, the tips are okay looking. I am definitely a bigger fan of the Corsa tips. I mean, this is a single X pipe system and over here we have a double X, which is supposed to smooth out the flow and uh, the sound, give it a crisper, cleaner sound. They do not drone at all in the street, at all, period. So Borla does the same thing and some other companies as well, but Corsa masters this in my opinion. Borla is very good, I gotta tell you. When you see the direct head-to-head -head comparison uh, video after this one, pay attention to the things we talk about, you know, because, well, we have did the uh, the driving portion of this system and it's impressive. This one, however, we have not obviously filmed yet. So I'm very, very excited to uh, put them head to head, you know, finish the comparison video, but that's gonna be coming to the channel. So uh, get ready for that, but. All right, so what we gotta do is basically just start unbolting things. I can help out as you need. Well, it's just uh, me getting over this stupid cold. I have like no energy. <laughs> so I was like, I can hold the camera. But, yeah, no, no, I'm over it. I'm not sick anymore. But I've got, like, my voice, you can hear my voice is yeah, about gone. Should be able to go, hey, hey. Is it coming? Yeah. There it is. There we go. Yep. But, yeah, that's part of the pipe. So yeah, it's, it's gonna, gonna, yeah, it's gonna hold because it's got that lip. All right. Normally I do all of my own work. Engine swaps on jack stands, it does not matter. You but have crazy stuff in your garage like I have. Garage built, baby. But I got some buddies up here at HPR. They got a lift and we're making it easy this time. There we go. That was uh, definitely not sped up. That was real time right there. 
<laughs> Out with the old and then in with the new. But this is a Borla Attack MPP with chrome tips. Is it lighter? It's lighter. Really? Switch ear. Switch ear. Switch hands. I'll hold the camera. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, no. There's uh, about a pound or so difference there. That's crazy. That's real talk. That's interesting. Yeah. So there you go. Weight savings. Hey, if you can't, if you Round don't. Round one. Corsa. <laughs> no, in this corner, Corsa. <laughs> this corner, uh, yeah, that's cheesy, but uh, we got a winner here. <laughs> You're on the recipe. Hey, we'll get faster and hey. louder. <laughs> go buy your Corsa products today. Xander 10 promo code. <laughs> Shameless plug. <laughs> no, I, 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 um, I actually do not get a kickback out of that. That's just simply there. It's like um, all the other discount codes. It just helps you guys out whenever you're buying product. There we go. Uh, where's your instructions? Way I know which clamp. In the trunk. Uh, yeah, my bad. You don't have one. <laughs> no. We call this the double helix X pipe, guys. And you can purchase this X pipe separately if you want to. You know, vice versa. You don't have to get the full kit together. Ooh, that looks that looks delicious. And I just messed up. What did you do? You didn't put the clamps on. <laughs> Dang it! Take it apart. Look at this shot right there. Oh my! It comes with wire extensions for your valves. Looking good. Different uh, orientation of the two mufflers versus the boiler here. So should look pretty good once we're all done. <laughs> ah, good and tight. Okay, no, no, no. That's not good and tight. You know what that is? Yeah. Yeet. Yeet. So when we get it down to eye level, we'll be yeah, like, I mean, I can't tell nothing from here. It's set up, it's set up angle. No, well, we're we're short people over here. Well, I am. I'm a little shorter than you. You're like what four seven? Yeah. <laughs> no, it's a Chevy shop now. No, it ain't. This is the apparently. Cool. Been... Hey, hey, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What's that over there? Uh, Mustang, Mustang, okay. Mustang, or no, I'm sorry. That's the Let's try this again. Mustang, Mustang, F-150, which I have, a 21 F-150, and Mustang, and then another found on road dead. And then, then we got another one also. I mean, that's why they're at the shop, fixed or repaired no, 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 daily, right? These are getting improved. This oh. is improvement. Because they didn't come good enough from the factory. Well, fight that game. <laughs> we can see how good yours came out from the factory. I know, I know. <laughs> run the gauntlet blue's got to go first we all love each other we're just car people here <laughs> hopefully you are too so no fanboys here i'm a car guy yeah I'm just exactly. car guy. yeah <laughs> guys we're there we have a finished install almost we got to put the uh a couple of things back together but we're at the point now we're pulling plastic off of the the uh course of tips that looks so good and my uh camera battery is dying great but that's okay i can switch it out because it is cold start time once this thing comes back on the ground yeah. well you gotta have it top off the ground for i see you're short who's the one i was working on this time ken when are you gonna grow up he works on one car in a shop <laughs> and he's king dingling when are you gonna grow up this, am I gonna grow up? I just don't beat me. <laughs> <laughs> don't beat me. <laughs> Chris decided he wanted to help you out the goodness of his heart. Oh, so the the money being spent doesn't? Not my money. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> no, the plastic's not off that side. Get it off. <laughs> <laughs> Possible thumbnail. All right, this is it. Cold start time with our new. Corsa MPP. Fire in a hole. Nope, apparently not. Apparently, apparently the GM's changed it. They used to be lock and... Yeah, lock and then hold. Ah, it's a hold. Okay. Here we go. That, look, that sounds good. Oh my gosh. That's a bit louder. Yeah, much better. You got that classic Corsa sound, though. It does. We're big Corsa fans, but I mean... Yeah, the Borla cold start was loud, but it wasn't like that. That's crazy. Final cold start with the Borla attack system. So much better. Yes, sir. You can't have a Chevrolet. What's up? Without hey, a chop what's, chop. What's the advantage of having a push rod? A chop chop. Bop it, bop it. Let it talk to you. We, we, it, it's coming. Eventually a cam, yes. This is it. That sounds good. I like it, man. I can imagine a little bit. Listen to that idle, bro. <laughs> yeah, the boiler didn't sound like that at idle. At all.
That sounds delicious. You want to rub it? Yeah, that thing. That thing sounds. Do yours again? Oh, it's, I've already cold. I just started it. Well, I mean, it's still be kind of cold. This is Corsa. E85. E85. That's oh, that's strong. E. That stuff smells good, dude. It's good. Yeah. Supercharged now with a fuel system. And you gonna put it on the dyno here soon? Uh, hopefully. Okay. Sweet. See what it picked up. Run it. The drag strip here is closed, so I'm probably gonna have to take it down south as soon as I get some time and run it. I've got a 3.5 pulley in there and it, and it and the MFP crank support. But yeah. Before I put all that on, I want to run it on the 375 pulley that I ran on 93. You see the difference between 93 and 85? Yeah. I'm gonna pull you down. Yeah. Hey guys. Um, by the way, this is Ken, the owner of the shop, HBR. So gonna make it fast. We will. Yeah. Sounds delicious. It does. It's, what do you do? Oh my gosh, that sounds so good, dude. Oh! The pops! Bro! Oh my gosh, dude! Oh, that's so sick! That's brutal. Oh, that's nasty! Chris, will you want to rev it so you can hear it? I know, it only goes like 3,000 RPM. Yeah, it's fun. Yeah, but you should still come out here and freaking hear it, dude. Yes, we're gonna do a um, a first drive with this. This is gonna be a separate video, also. So again, subscribe because yeah. Go ahead, go ahead. I'll I'll I'll. Fix it. <laughs> that sounds awesome. That sounds way way freaking beefier and meaner than the boiler does. I like a good sound of exhaust, but this is wow. That's that's. Yeah, so we got put under load. That's gonna be coming in uh, probably a first drive. Yeah, to hear this thing rip wide open throttle down the street, guys. Huge shout out, Course Performance. Use my promo code to save you some money. Huge shout out to HBR, as always. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Thanks, man. I don't have the, a war like um, it's a that's a it sounds, it sounds weird like exotic or something it, awesome, man. it sounds good it doesn't sound trumpety no. like in a Mustang no. this oh, is good. this is high end sounding definitely different exhaust note yeah I've not heard before ever a course league system on the ZL1 really? no, no I never have yeah Seven ZL6 the heavy factory titanium exhaust. It sounds like that on steroids. It does. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Well, this is a ZL6 engine and blower. So, all right.